after the Jazz talked to his team, he said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin will see if they can make that adjustment. Thank you, David. The open look here for Sexton. A three-pointer is right on target. Sexton's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Jams. And what do you think GA is the next step for this Lakers team? Coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. And for the Lakers, they've got Anthony Davis, Jared Vanderbilt out there with Prince, then it's Russell, and it's Reeves in at the two. And for the Jams. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Stolen. And now Utah, fast break. Outside, Sexton. To the inside. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Jams. Their defense, it's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And we also got to highlight how lackluster the opposition has been in terms of boxing out. This team is flat out bullying them on the offensive glass. Vanderbilt against Dunn. Nice ball movement by Utah. Shot clock at five and stolen by Russell. Here's Reeves. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And you can just sense his determination, trying to do everything he can to keep this game within reach. Fontecchio, guarded by Prince. Fontecchio passes to Collins. And the shot goes in. We talk about Collins' combination of length and skill. It helps him make contested shots. Vanderbilt against Collins. Russell from long range. Good on the three-point shot. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. And there's the call on John Collins. John Collins. When to rise up and swat that one away. Radish, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Davis inside. Arkin and on him. Jazz leading by six. And here's Clarkson. Oh, Linick trying to break loose. Count it. Good. Clarkson's got 30. Utah. Jazz fans are behind their team. No matter what. Reddish finds Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. It's hauled in by Dunn striking break to see the bond between the Jazz team and their followers. Well, when you're the only game in town, people take the team no, to heart. No, and no. we see it in cities like Portland. Pecchio missing. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And Olenek kicks to Dunn. Driving the lane. And he gets the whistle. Two free throw extended periods. Russell Westbrook didn't really fit in at first. They missed the playoffs. Keep in mind, lots of people picked the Lakers to win it all. Nailed from three-point land. He is starting to build up a little confidence. Hit just one three in the entire first half, but he has hit two more since then. Clarkson outside. Pass to Fontecchio. 
Here's Olenek. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Outside, Russell. Now, Reddish. From 11 feet away, Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got rebound number seven for him tonight. In the corner, it's Clarkson over Reddish. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. From deep, James. They get the rebound. Davis can't cash in from close range. Jazz leading by eight. Here's Dunn, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. The pull-up jump shot. You can see this is where Chris Dunn's work ethic has improved this shot immensely. Reddish kicks to LeBron. Back to Reddish. Down low. And Davis gets it to go on the assist from Reddish. Davis has got 23 points. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. And there's the pass to Phone Jekio. From 11 feet away, misses off the left iron. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. This is a Duretish. the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. Beautiful take from Cam. Absorbing the contact and muscling through it. Pass to Clarkson. Phone Tecchio. Dunn looking over the floor. I'm deep. Rebound the Lakers. Left side, Davis. Over Markinen. No good off the back of the rim. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Here's Dunn. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Maybe. <laughs> Los Angeles making a switch here. Reeves is checked in. Reddish with the ball. Pass to Reeves. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. The team relies on Davis for this. Keeping the play alive and finishing at the rim. The pass to Fongecchio. A shot off that time. Good D by LeBron. Maybe even more than a few. And Smitty, it seems hard to believe those Jazz didn't win a title or two. Kevin, well, if it wasn't for it. Now, here's Dunn. Clarkson outside. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a fence, as he was in that first half. Here's Rush. And it's tonight. A fearless big man. Olenek isn't afraid to challenge opponents on their shots. Clarkson against LeBron. Clarkson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Lakers trailed by five. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on Jordan Clarkson. When you need a big score, you want LeBron to at least touch the ball and throws. This is why you put the ball in his hands. Pass to Fongecchio. And here's Clarkson. Done outside. Prince with the defensive effort. No one to blame on that one but himself. It looks like that. You've got to take it there. Ball movement here by the Lakers. Out left of the wing. Here's Reeves. Good. And the assist goes to James. Reeves. LeBron's got his ninth assist in the game now. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And he's got it going right now. That's who they want to take him. The big shot. That's Jacquio. 
Utah needs to get off a shot here. The Jazz with another miss. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And foul on the foul. shot. Fans causing a lot of steals. And also, guys, how about the hustle we've seen on the boards? They're getting after it and cashing in on second chance scoring opportunities. It's good. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Here's Clarkson. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And his pure defensive effort changed. Dunn passes to Fongecchio. Here's Clarkson. Another miss by Utah. And even though the quarter has been a struggle, a little bit more insurance there. Very confident as he's able to go up and knock those down. It drops. And now they trail by just four. A monster basket by Clarkson. This guy can score in so many different ways. Just hard to stop him in those big moments. They foul into the fall. Known for his late game heroics, LeBron is doing it again. This one for three. Hands the three. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're ahead by two. And there's the intentional foul. I mean, one of the greatest players of all time. LeBron just continuing to add to his legacy. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. A truly good performance away from home.